Today I'm going to show you how to use reference area for TLDF. To be clear, most of the time you don't need to use this feature. Drop the whole folder into TLDF. Uh, the best uh, workflow for me is the raw workflow. So just directly edit raw files in 16-bit in TLDF will generate the best result. TLDF sorts all the images based on the time when they're taken. And you can also see the uh, interval as well. And from this example, you can, see, you can see the interval between first and second is longer than the rest. So you can, you have a, uh, if you don't want the first, then you just click on the first uh, uh, photo and hit the delete button. Then the photo should be deleted. Then all the images should have the same interval. As you can see, all these photos are taken in aperture priority mode. Uh, but unfortunately, um, during this shot, I remember, uh, I find that you see these photos have a longer interval than the others because I found out that shutter is already catching up with interval. So I have manually increased ISO from 100 to 400. It's not an ideal situation. Let's take a look at this time-lapse sequence without doing any deflickering. As you can see, there's a huge amount of flicker. Let's watch the sequence again. Some areas of this sequence are supposed to flicker. For example, the foreground, where both move fast in and out of the scene. Also, large billboards should also flicker. These areas cannot be deflickered, and they should not be deflickered as well. When these naturally flicking areas are small, say less than 25%, TLDF can handle easily. However, for this case, flickering area is quite big. Therefore, using reference area will help. Most of the time, sky and cloud should not flicker. So selecting the sky and the cloud as the reference area for deflickering is a good idea. Try to make reference area as large as possible. It is okay for reference area to include a small part that are naturally flickering. For this example, I'm going to select upper left corner as the reference area because it excludes large billboards and the river where both move in and out fast. It does include Space Needle of Shanghai that flickers a little, but it's okay. For rendering, my favorite output type is ProRes 422HQ with the REC 2020 color gamut and also the size the same as the original photos. Uh, you can later import this uh, a file into a uh, video software, video editing software like uh, Final Cut Pro or Adobe Premiere. This is the final result. It looks so much better than the original sequence. Thank you for watching.